In the book of Proverbs, a father speaking to his son said like that, get wisdom, get wisdom, get understanding, do not forget, nor turn away from the words of my mouth, do not forsake her and she will preserve you. Love her, and she will keep you. And he concludes it. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, get understanding. Well, let's break it down, this advice of the father to his son that his son may have success. And what does this have to do with you and all of us? Well, the first point that call our attention is that wisdom, understanding, intelligence are three different things, are connected, but different. Wisdom, intelligence, and understanding. These three things must be acquired, which means they don't come out of nowhere, they don't come by chance. You were born wise, you woke up wise one day. No. Wisdom, intelligence and the understanding, they must be acquired. But how can you buy it? How can you acquire it? How can you take possession of these things? Is it paying for a university course? Partially paying for a university course, you can gather knowledge and understanding on the field that you chose. However, this is not the full package. How many people with so much capacity, intelligent, they don't have understanding? They are so intelligent and they have no wisdom. They don't know anything beyond the object of their study and their true failure in other aspect of life. So it's not only on you studying in the sense of reading books, joining an university, doing a course and dedicate yourself. Not only that. But God is saying here through this text that wisdom must be acquired mainly with humbleness to listen to the advice of the Father. So let's not forget that this text is the instruction of the Father. Verse 1, it says that, I'm reading from Proverbs 4, and on verse 1 says, Hear, my children, the instruction of a father, the instruction of a father, which means the first step for wisdom is humbleness, and humbleness has a price. Humbleness has expensive price, a high price, which is the pride. Is when you giving up on the pride. Is you recognizing that you don't know. Is for you to concede the possibility that maybe you're wrong on that that you believe with so much conviction. So humbleness. Maybe is the highest price that a person can pay, has to pay, to acquire wisdom, intelligence, and understanding. These three things combined is the humbleness. Is in humbleness is where you open your understanding. Is in humbleness that you listen to the one who has more understanding, wisdom, and intelligence than you. And you consider it, you measure the words you are receiving with what you believe inside of you, with what you know. And you're not attached to that what you believe as if it was the only truth. The truth or the only truth. And because of that, there's no one else that can increase upon what you already know. So for you to give up on the convictions you have that they can be wrong or incomplete, 
its necessary humbleness. And many, unfortunately, either they don't have it, or if they have it, they don't want to pay the price for it to obtain it, obtain understanding, intelligence, and wisdom. So this is the main thing, the main point. Acquire wisdom, intelligence, and understanding. And the other thing that calls our attention here is that these virtues, they protect us, guard us, they are more valuable than assets. Yes, because material assets, they can be stolen, they can be subject to economical situation, isn't it? Financial, material assets, they can rise their price or lower, they can come and go. But wisdom, intelligence and understanding are assets that there are inside of you and no thief can steal it from you. No one can steal that from your life. So, the person who is intelligent, who already has a beginning of intelligence, they will know, I have to invest on that that is not lost, that not loses its value, does not diminish with time. So, they invest on that. And the greatest wisdom that someone can acquire is the wisdom that comes from above, that comes from God. It's God who says in His words, Call me, call me, and I'll give you, I'll show you things that are hidden that you don't know. God promises to reveal those things that He didn't reveal to anyone else, that nobody yet understands or realized it. It's Him who reveals it, but not to the proud one, not to the person who wants to show their knowledge, to have a personal benefit, but to the one who really wants to serve to a divine purpose with this intelligence and wisdom. Unfortunately, there are many people who even seek wisdom, understanding with the purpose to deceive people. There are many clever ones in this world, not wise, because if they were wise, they wouldn't use cleverness. But there are many clever ones that invest strongly on things to deceive people to have an advantage, to scam people. There are people that are intelligent, that are very intelligent, for evil. They specialize on doing evil, on deceiving, on making a way around the law, and escape from the evil that they commit. They are clever, but at the same time they are fools, because in their cleverness they deceive some, they have a short-term advantage, but they don't have peace. They're not able to rest. They have no tranquility on what they do. At all times, they need to be looking at their backs to see if they are not being watched, if there's nobody coming after them, because their conscience accuses them, showing them you're doing something wrong. And sooner or later, they know that they will be caught. So they are eternal runaways. They are runaways that they think that in their cleverness, they will be able to be ahead of the law of other people. So it's not that that God is saying here. He's speaking of the wisdom, intelligence, and the understanding. Things that you don't need necessarily to have a diploma to understand. You understand because God reveals that to you. Just as God gives wisdom to the animals, the Bible shows us that. It calls us to look at the animal intelligence. Man learns with the animal intelligence. Animals have intelligence. The ants, they have intelligence to work on the summer because they know that in the winter they will have no food. So they work at summer, they keep it on summer, they stock up the food because they know that in the winter they will not have it. Look at the intelligence. It's an ant. What is the size of the brain of an ant? How surprising is that? But it seems to be bigger than many human beings because many human beings, they are not capable of doing that. They spend all that they have today and they are in need tomorrow. They don't know how to have control over their interests, their greeds. So they borrow, they buy in credit, 
they spend what they don't have it, and they get messed up because of what? The eyes, the greed, not the lack of intelligence, but by the lack of using it. So let's pay attention to the wisdom that God gives freely, but to the humble ones. The price is only for you to sacrifice the pride. If you sacrifice the pride, the arrogance, the prepotency, you will be able to acquire it. And that will make you richer than anyone else. Did you like this? Would you like to hear it again? Listen to it as many times as you need until this content becomes part of you. Don't forget to leave your like, comment and share. See you next time.